Hey, what's up guys, it's David Warren. Thanks for watching. As you can see, I'm in a different area today. We're gonna to talk about nurse practitioner specialties and how to choose a specialty. But first, I wanna to talk to you about one of my hobbies. So, as some of you may know, I'm a drag racer. No, not that kind of drag. The drag racing cars, take a look. I've been racing these cars since I was about 16 years old. I race with my family, me and my dad both race. Uh, the racing season is getting ready to start, so I'm actually home in East Texas with my family, helping get ready. And I'm gonna take this time to talk to you about different nurse practitioner specialties. This is also my dog, his name's Bullet. Say hi, Bull. Uh, he's hanging out with me here today. So I get questions all the time about how to choose a nurse practitioner specialty. Like, how do you know if you want to be a family nurse practitioner or an acute care nurse practitioner or a psych nurse practitioner and it's challenging whenever you don't when you're not a nurse practitioner you don't really know what they do it's, it's hard to choose a specialty uh, but I want to try to clarify some of that today so I'm gonna break down the specialties that I have and how I got there and kind of what I use uh, those specialties for so the first specialty is a family nurse practitioner and that's FNP and a family nurse practitioner is trained across the lifespan, meaning from birth to death, to treat primary care and urgent care type issues. So you can treat uh, blood pressure, cholesterol, uh, sinusitis, bronchitis, some basic like run of the mill primary care type conditions. And that certification is good again across the lifespan. So from birth to death, anything primary care related. and. Uh, it gets a bit confusing because some people want to work in like the ICU or want to work in an acute care environment with their family nurse practitioner license and that line begins to get a little blurred depending on where you practice, what state you're practicing in, what area you're practicing in. There's a lot of confusion about that and even the state boards of nursing have some confusing type things about that and then there's this consensus model and how do you piece all this together and it can be challenging. Um, basically a family nurse practitioner is trained to provide primary care and urgent care services across the lifespan uh, and your scope really doesn't go beyond that. And a question I get is, how do you work in the ER as a family nurse practitioner? And again, that's a challenging area. I don't have all the answers for you. Um, because in the ER, you do see primary care issues. You see uh, blood pressure. You see people who come in for primary care issues, for bronchitis, for stuff that can be handled in a clinic. However, you also see the other end of the spectrum. You also see people who come in and having a cardiac arrest. They're doing CPR. People who having a stroke or having an MI. There are a variety of things that people come to the ER with. So can you work in the ER with your family nurse practitioner degree? I think it depends on what you're doing and where you got your education and are you trained to provide emergency services? There's a number of questions that have to be answered before you can just say, yes, I can work in the ER as a family nurse practitioner. But on the outset, family nurse practitioners are 
trained to provide primary care and urgent care services across the lifespan. We'll touch on the working in different areas thing a little bit later. Uh, the second certification I have is an acute care nurse practitioner. So um, actually it's adult gerontology acute care, that's a new name for it. Meaning that you can provide acute care services for adults and geriatric patients. Adults is somewhat of a confusing term. Usually it's around age 13 to 14 ish up, uh, and, and below would be considered pediatrics. So if you just have an acute care certification, then you are licensed or you're certified to treat people, uh, adults, and geriatrics who are experiencing acute care issues. So uh, a heart attack, a stroke, uh, any sort of acute abdominal pathology, anything uh, acute care related would be uh, what you would be uh, trained to treat as an acute care nurse practitioner. So can an acute care nurse practitioner work in the emergency department? Uh, the answer, again, is a, a bit confusing. Yes, you can because you're treating acute care issues, but what about those primary care issues? What about the kids? There are a number of things that come up when you're talking about a nurse practitioner specialty, and it's not, unfortunately, a straightforward, easy answer. But going over the certifications, acute care, you can treat adults, so age about 13 to 14 and up uh, into the geriatric, so to the end of the lifespan. Uh, so that's what you would do with your acute care certification. And uh, what about an emergency certification? So I'm certified as an emergency nurse practitioner. I wasn't formally trained as an emergency nurse practitioner, but I've taken an emergency nurse practitioner exam saying that I'm certified as an emergency nurse practitioner. So with that being said, what is an emergency nurse practitioner? So to be an emergency nurse practitioner, there are a few different ways to go about doing that. You can first be a family nurse practitioner and go back to get an emergency nurse practitioner certification. There are schools that offer that. It's a postgraduate certificate, it's usually a year long, and, and you're just trained in emergency medicine. And uh, you can also have just worked in the ER for several years, you gain experience, and then you can sit for the American Academy of Nurse Practitioners emergency nurse practitioner exam. Uh, so there are a couple different ways to go about being an emergency nurse practitioner. So those are the types, the three different types of certifications that I have and kind of what they're used for. And since I'm focused on emergency medicine, most of my videos are focused somewhere uh, or have something to do with emergency medicine or working in the emergency department. What do you do to work in the ER? And that's a challenging question. I, I don't have all the answers for you. Um, I will say this, that as a family nurse practitioner, you can evaluate patients across the lifespan. So you can see anything uh, birth to death. Uh, however, with that, with that uh, set of skills, you also have this caveat that you are trained in primary care. So to fully work in the emergency department, you need to pick up your acute care skills somewhere. So whether that be an additional program, so maybe an acute care certification, maybe an emergency certification, you want to go back to be trained to work in the ER. Maybe you just go work in the ER and get that experience by the physicians you're working with, by the other advanced practice providers that you're working with. Somehow, you need to pick up those acute care skills because at some point in the ER, you're gonna be dealing with sick people. People that are having an MI or having a CVA or that need, uh, that have sepsis and need uh, pressors, that need TPA. Uh, there's a, a ton of different acute care areas that you're not trained in as a family nurse practitioner but that you can pick up those additional skills somewhere along the line. So in an additional program or on the job training. And all of this gets even more confusing whenever you involve the state boards of nursing, the people who license you. Each state is different. Some states may say you cannot work in the emergency department as a family nurse practitioner. Some states may say you have to have your acute care certification. Some states may say you can't do on the job training. You have to do a formal education program and you go back to school to learn something about emergency medicine. All of this to say, there's no clear answer. It's absolutely confusing right now. I will say this, to work in the emergency department, it is helpful to have a family nurse practitioner certification because you can see children, you can see adults. However, you need to pick up those emergency skills somewhere. So either on the job or go back to school for an emergency nurse practitioner program, somehow you need to pick up those emergency skills. 
I would say also for me personally, having an acute care certification has helped drastically because in my acute care program, you, I personally learned all about vents, all about blood pressure management, uh, and sepsis with pressors, how to take care of just acutely ill patients. And I will also say this, that in the acute care program that I went to, it was mainly focused on inpatient ICU level care. There wasn't much ER there, which was a little depressing because I mainly went from the ER side. However, um, learning that ICU level care really helps because you can bring ICU level care down to the ER whenever you're taking care of those patients. And so having an acute care certification I think is invaluable because you learn skills, you learn incubation, central lines, lumbar puncture, arterial lines. You learn a variety of skills that are, that are so useful in the emergency department when you're taking care of critically ill patients. So with that being said, family nurse practitioner, primary care across the lifespan, acute care nurse practitioner, adults, geriatrics in an acute care environment, and an emergency nurse practitioner, that's the certification you need if you want to work in the ER. Either get your experience in the ER or go to an emergency nurse practitioner program. Those are the tips I have for you. Thanks for watching. Comment below. Let me know what you think uh, about working in the emergency department. What certification do you need as a nurse practitioner? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.